What is up guys, Sarcasm here, and this has been a long time coming this video because I believe a lot of us kind of knew that the next Call of Duty game is going to be Black Ops 3, but apparently it was officially announced that it's going to be Black Ops 3. David Von Ahar tweeted out some, some stuff and all that shenanigans, you know, a couple of YouTubers did some stuff. So yeah, it's pretty much 100% confirmed that the next Call of Duty game is going to be Black Ops 3. So with that said, today I want to go over some awesome information to celebrate this news that the next Call of Duty is going to be Black Ops 3. Because I don't know about you guys, I really did enjoy Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I would say they are some of the better Call of Duties. Not the best. I'm not saying they're the best. In my opinion, they are. They were pretty solid. You know, not not definitely not uh, the the worst. Uh, in my opinion, Call of Duty 4 was the best. But they are definitely up there with some of the best Call of Duty. So to celebrate, we're going to go over some information, and that is. Three kill streaks from the previous Black Ops games. Three of my personal favorite kill streaks. You may have a different opinion on these. Like I said, these are opinions. If you want to let me know your favorite kill streaks from these Black Ops games, let me know in the comments below. So, the first one. Well, actually, we go for number three. We go from number three to one. So, my least favorite to favorite. Number three. The Swarm, a lot, a lot of fun in Black Ops 2. Now, I feel like Black Ops 2 is kind of weaker as far as the kill streaks compared. Well, it, it is score streaks, but you know, we just all consider all those kill streaks. Black Ops 2 did have score streaks, Black Ops 1 had kill streaks, but I'm just calling them both kill streaks just to make everything simpler. So, yeah, Swarm, very, very fun. You know, it killed a lot of people, especially if you had dogs up at the same time. But the problem, there were a couple of problems with it actually. Um, it, it did kill you. You know, if you didn't have uh, the right setup, and you didn't take cover play carefully. If you were outside next to an enemy, the swarm could actually kill you. And when you get a swarm, usually you're on a decent streak that you want to keep going. You don't want to die in your streak, especially if it's from your own uh, kill streak that you just earned. So a lot of times you get a swarm, you're on a big streak, you call it in. Sometimes you die unless you play carefully. So that's the downside. You kind of had to stay indoors sometimes and just be very careful. The next... Kill streak with my second favorite, number two, the Blackbird from Black Ops 1. Now, the orbital VSAT uh, could be, some people would argue that it's the same thing. It's, it's very, very similar. I just think the Blackbird was a little bit better. You see people on the map the whole time instead of, you know, uh, most of the time. But, yeah, and, and I just think it was slightly a little bit better. I, I don't know if it lasted longer. I think it might have lasted, like, 15 seconds longer. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% positive. But, yeah, second favorite. You can see everyone on the map where they are, where they're facing. is awesome. And it, it made you feel good when you earned something that big of a, a, a kill streak. You know, you earned it. You want to get something good. So, the number one kill streak in the Black Ops series for me is the chopper gunner from Black Ops 1. You go on absolute rampages with this thing. You, it, it just got you so many kills that a lot of people spent more time in the chopper gunner than actually running and gunning, getting kills with their weapon. Because that's how really awesome it was, you know. If you earn a chopper gunner, you pretty much knew you were going to get some kills. Unless... There were certain situations where people would be like, hey, let's all team up and shoot this thing down very quickly so he can't be happy. But most of the time, especially in, you know, random games where everyone's just going by, playing by themselves, uh, you're unless you get up against full party, usually that doesn't happen. So, yeah, you usually get up, rack up a lot of kills relatively easy by manning this thing, and it was just so much fun. You know, you, you got a big kill streak, you're like, yes, I did it! And then now I can kill more people! Get a bigger kill streak! And it doesn't kill you unless you shoot yourself in. Of course, you know, you did have to man it so people could find your body that you're hiding in. Then kill you. But anyway, guys, let me know what are your three favorite kill streaks in Black Ops thus far. So let me know about that. And with that said, thanks nice for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. That's about it. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like rating on this video if you did enjoy. Thanks for watching. Peace.